Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to take off the flash suppressor on my MPX because I am going to install a three lug adapter for, let me see if this is showing up for you, a three lug adapter uh, from Griffin Armament for my Griffin Armament Revolution 9 suppressor. This is the three lug adapter and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing the video. It's very simple. Um, I wasn't going to do a video but I think it's important you know a few things. First off, I have a barrel block here and, and you need something like this to do this correctly. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the flash suppressor. I will admit I've already loosened it up. It comes off quite easily on this thing. But remember it's left-handed thread so it's going this way. Okay, so that's physically off there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, which probably is not a big deal to a lot of people, but I'm going to clean the threads. I'm going to use acetone to clean the threads off so that I can use um, Loctite. And the reason I'm going to use Loctite on this particular build is, hang on a minute, I've got a problem here. Hang on. Anyway, the reason I'm going to use Loctite on this is because I learned something from firing this, firing a suppressor on a weapon that is left-handed thread. And that is, um, everything in the suppressor is right-handed thread. Which means when you're trying to loosen something, you are tightening something else, and vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Loctite on this adapter when I put it on there because, as I just said, everything else on the Revolution suppressor is right-handed thread. And I don't want to Loctite a whole bunch of parts together, so I'm going to Loctite this on there so that it will stay when I am rotating to the right everything else. But first, let's do this right. Now this trick I learned from, um, and I shouldn't call it a trick, but this little feature thing here about cleaning the threads with acetone, I got from Surefire. Uh, go watch their videos because I have one of their flash suppressors and two of their flash brakes. As you can see, it cleans the crap out of there pretty good. And why do I want to clean the crap out? Well, it's pretty evident. I want to make sure that the this device sticks. I'm also going to use um, I'm also going to use acetone inside the threads of this because yes I have tried it on and I'm really kind of surprised how gucked up these threads are already. It's pretty amazing how bad they are but I want to get them as clean as I can so that the acid or so that the Loctite sticks well. Now you notice to take off the flash suppressor, I'm not sure what I did with it now. I use pretty much just a you know standard armor's wrench for AR devices. And that's the, the piece I used. That isn't gonna work for this ladies and gentlemen. Now I'll tell you right up front, I would love to be able to know how I'm going to torque this down. I don't think I'm going to learn how I'm going to torque this down, but I need this particular fitting on this Griffin Armament proprietary wrench to get this on there. And I'm just going to have to be careful and not torque it down too far. I don't think I will, but we will make sure. I'm also using blue lock tight. There might be a day come where I want to put on 
I don't know. Who am I want to put on SIG proprietary suppressor? I don't know. But just, I want it to be as tight, you know, as sturdy as I can get it. But at the same time, if I want to be able to get it off, I want to have an opportunity to do just that. That's an awful lot of Loctite, but we'll see how this goes. So, here goes nothing. We're going to screw this on like so with the Loctite that's there. And we're going to take this little device here and we're going to put it over the, the actual lugs. And we're just going to tighten it down like so. And we're going to leave it like that. I don't need, it extends the barrel quite a bit, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. That's my installation of my three lug adapter for my Griffin Armament uh, Revolution 9. I'm going to let that actually set 24 hours before I um, try to do anything with it. Um, I will take it out of the block. I don't think it needs to sit here in the block all night as I drop pieces on the ground. But uh, there she goes. More later, ladies and gentlemen.